Welcome back to Dalton Garage, and I'm gonna show you how we fit this engine in this tractor. Back from the dead. All right, this is a Sears Custom 7, very similar to the Sears Suburban, a um, little bit different. I This one was from, I believe this one was the year 1970. I It came with a seven horse Tecumseh engine, in my opinion, very low powered. I I got this one with the mower deck, which will not be getting used, and a snow plow. I put this together for my dad. He's going to use it to plow his driveway and pull a 950 pound roller. So we wanted to put something a little beefier in it. I, I know most people is probably going to give me some shit for putting a, a you know, clone engine, whatever in it. Didn't really want to take the time to source out one of the a, a larger flathead engines, at least not at the moment. So we went ahead and pulled the uh, Duramax 440cc 18 horse off of my wife's go-kart and threw it in. Uh, clearly it was not that simple though. Uh, we had to do some fabrication work. The There's plenty of room clearance from where the, uh, the hood would come across here, but the grill had to be modified and cut a little bit. You can kind of see for the intake I uh, for the uh, the head and the valve cover um, over here a little bit too down across here because the pulley sticks out a little bit further than it did no big deal um, the mounting bolts for the engine obviously we had to drill new holes for those to get those mounted in there sorry I can't get it to really focus that well and can't really show you underneath because the way the yeah you can't really see nothing in there. Eh, a little bit um, and this little tractor did not come with a key start so we installed the one that came with this motor and you can kind of see here where we ended up putting it there we already there so that wasn't an issue uh, throttle cable and just hooked it right here we ended up shaving this off a little bit for hood clearance um, still using the uh, governor and the choke we actually ordered off of Amazon because the other one was not long enough so it comes in through there underneath the battery tray and right out here and it does go through the grill and up to the carburetor so the bracket for the choke to connect to the carburetor i if i remember right we ordered that off of amazon as well um if i can get it to focus because the other one would not work because it was one of those ones where it's like the engine was like a something you'd put on either a log splitter or something where you're not sitting on it you know running it like this so we had to get a different bracket so i sourced that out on amazon um and then the key start so this engine came with the uh, ignition system and everything so all the wiring and everything just was basically the same all you had to do is basically drill a hole if there was not already one there and this little ring here just twist on and off and that's what holds it on so the wiring for that wasn't too hard wire your battery up to that simple stuff um, but when we mounted the engine you need to make sure your belt which i don't know if you'll be able to see real well I'll turn this light on kind of hard you want to make sure that belt it's going to line up with 
the pulley on the transaxle all the way in the back. So make sure it's as straight as possible. Uh, we ended up using a Kevlar belt, a little more durable. Um, you can kind of see the white clutch there. So originally that clutch, the bracket that holds it on, actually used to hold it to the back side of the other engine. It bolted to the engine. So since this cannot bolt to this engine, because there is no room in there, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you to be able to see, but we actually, I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, I can't really tell. We actually welded the bracket for this clutch onto the bottom side of the tray that the gas tank is on. Now, clearly, you want to take the gas tank off before you start side but we basically just flipped it up and welded it underneath there and i mean works perfectly fine i've seen where other people's done that and it worked really well it still you know does what it needs to it's just different location so everything works with all that setup and everything um, the last issue I ended up having was the exhaust because the exhaust that came with this engine was just a big box and it would not clear the hood or the grill. So I don't know if you can see here, flip this light off. So we used the original exhaust manifold for the engine and then we fabricated a flange if I can get this to focus a little bit again having all kinds of issues today uh, I fabricated a flange here and cut it out and everything no exhaust leaks and yes this is an ugly weld still having issues with my welder trying to get it to feed the wire correctly but no leaks so whatever um, just got some tubing there I Home Depot, basically what you would use for like running gas line. I, because the original muffler, which is what we're using, is the thread type. So it just basically threads in. So you, this is just gas line stuff for like a home. This is what they used on the original Tecumseh motor that came in this tractor. So we went ahead and used that and just ran it up through the hood. Now the downside is you have to unscrew this to open and shut the hood. So if you need to check your battery or do your fuel or anything, do it before you start the engine so that it doesn't get hot. Then you can shut it and you can kind of see how it just goes like that. But if he gets tired of dealing with that, then we're just going to redo it and weld it so it comes down and out the side or something like that. But we'll find out. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy started up. All right. Get this here. Choke's a little stiff. Every now and then the choke gets a little jammed up.
you can see there the choke got a little jammed up i'm gonna have to loosen something down there a little bit on the carburetor and make sure everything's all tightened up on the top end up here so but all in all it runs pretty good i you can kind of tell probably the paint doesn't really match the uh, the hood and the grill doesn't really match the rest of the tractor uh, i saw on some forums that they say to use regal red because that's going to get you as close as possible well the regal red looks a little more like something you put on a farm all but it's you know it's clean it's an old work tractor not trying to go for show quality clearly so it does what it needs to and yeah we still got a little bit of an axle leak back here so we'll get that fixed that's an easy fix um but if you got any questions or comments or anything feel free to ask me i uh, and if i'm wrong somewhere along the lines correct me i'm not real you know familiar with these seers all that much and stuff had a heck of a time researching these so i uh, but like subscribe and thank you for watching have a good day Back from the dead.